Hey, it's Megs here, otherwise known as the Megs Cahill, and today I have a favorites video for you guys. I am so excited to show this like monthly favorites. Technically, this is kind of the stuff I've been using over March, but I think it's stuff that you guys should really be trying in April and stuff I'm going to be religiously using in April. So whatever month you want to put it, April products, you guys need to try these, and these are what I'm currently loving. So we're going to start with a brand that I've had since it came out, but I didn't really like fall like die hard in love with until now and I'm in love you would say. Okay well this is one of them um but the one that I wear every day I don't know where it is it's normally in my little everyday drawer but I think it might be in my car or my purse because I literally wear it that much but anyways it is the Patrick Ta glosses these are everything and more this is the shade she's expensive I've been loving this shade she's expensive it's really beautiful but the one I'm like obsessed with is she's an influencer that one is so good and I thought I wouldn't like it because it's almost like when you look at it <clears throat> I wish I had it oh my gosh it's like my favorite gloss because I don't know where it is and that's my favorite one so like hopefully we find it but anyways and it's what's been what I've, what I've been wearing over all my nudes lately that you guys have been obsessed with so these glosses are just I don't know like the packaging is so luxurious everything's just about being glowy and uh, oh my gosh it's right in front of me I can't okay this is the one that's my favorite so you guys can kind of see the difference see how this is more like a gold nude and this is more like pinky but you can't really tell with it yeah see see that little purple bits I didn't know if I'd like it because of that but oh my gosh I'm obsessed but yeah this is just my favorite like lip gloss lately like it's been in my everyday drawer and it has not left so she's an influencer she's expensive the two I recommend I guess kind of random but I've been loving his fan not that like you know it's a fan but I just I love it because when I spray my face with setting spray I like to kind of like dry it down or if there's like a really liquidy shadow I'm doing I can like dry it so I can layer it with doing lashes so my lashes like really dry um, I just really like the fan and I like that it's like sturdier than like you know little cheap fans you could buy this is like a nice high quality fan the last thing from Patrick Ta which I know I kind of have a lot from him this time but um, this is the Patrick Ta for body major glow I have it on today, um, I put it on a while ago, but you can still, s boom, 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 look at it, ooh, you better work, um, I love it so much, and you guys can just look at that, wow, gorgeous, heavy, like, luxurious packaging, and it smells so good, um, I put it on when I was walking around, and I was like, dang, what perfume am I wearing today, and I'm like, I don't have perfume on, I'm just at home, and it's this, like, this just smells so good, it has the most pleasant soft scent, um, it just smells expensive to be honest. Yeah, and this is the lightest one I believe. The next item I love is from Jouer. It is so good. This is the um, Darling Blush Duo. This is Embrace Me and Love Me. They are really just beautiful blush shades. Like this soft pink is gorgeous. This has a more nudie base, so it's a bit more like neutral vibes. But oh my gosh, this is the best like baby doll duo. Like. I just I love it so much like it's honestly great she did a great job with her formula her packaging is always high quality but these two shades are just something lately that I can't live without um, so this is the darling duo embrace me love me oh let's go on to milk um, milk has quickly become one of my favorite brands to be honest I was just introduced to them not too long ago and I already have products for them that I can't live without I really like the vegan moisturizer too it's in my skincare um like I, I prioritize in skincare you know what I mean it's in the priority box so um the vegan moisturizer is in there but there's these two other products this one I can't live without and it is the um hydro grip primer if you have not tried this this is something you guys need to try I don't care if you have oily dry skin whatever but this is just something you need to try it makes your makeup stick so good I don't know what it is like I'm not really a primer person but I can't put this one down. I'm using it every day, so that's a decent drop there. You guys see how much I'm using it. I just use a pump, and it covers my whole face, but it's just like hydrates your face and makes it tacky, if that makes sense, but in the best way. So the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is something y'all need to try no matter what. I have that everyday product. Ooh. Another one that's become my everyday product, which I don't know why I didn't try this right when it was sent to me, but um, yeah, I tried it recently, and I was like, why have I been using any other mascara? So the, this is the Kush Mascara. Um, it's hefty guys like 
she a hefty girl. It's high quality and it just has like a big brush, which I like. It just coats your lashes and you can like build it. You don't really need to, but you can build it. I actually have it on right now. You guys can see um, my lashes are nice and full. And I just, I even layer this over other mascaras, like not to be, but you guys know you have some mascaras, you buy them, you try them and they're just not it. Um, and this is always what I end up coating them with to fix it <laughs> because this is just such a good mascara. I really like it. This is the Milk Kush Mascara. A great one to try. Up next is MAC. Um, I feel like I kind of have a lot of brands, but there's just been some stuff I've been loving. And this is the Patent Paint Lip Lacquer. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this product when I was wearing it. So basically, it's like, it's not, it's not a gloss and it's not like a lips, like a liquid lipstick. It's like a hybrid of like something that is, it's literally a lacquer. Like that's really the best way to put it. I have so many stain swatches on my hands, but this one is one of the ones I'm loving. It's like that perfect, like peachy light color. And this is in Patent Pleasure 585. Um, obsessed. This little guy is so good. And what I really like is um, I'll put like a more brown liner on and then I'll put this guy on. And then even if I'm eating something or anything, it's like the lacqueriness. If that wears off, I still have a color. So it's like if you put this on and for some reason, like you, you know, it comes off the color won't come off. So it's like you're still getting, um, throughout the day, it just wears so well. It starts like very lacquery. It stays like that for a long time. But you know, throughout the day you're eating and stuff and it gives that like perfect, like, I don't know, it's not glossy, but it's not like satin matte. It's in between and it just leaves this beautiful color. So I'm um, really comfortable to wear. MAC Boys has great packaging. Um, I don't know, there's something about MAC products that make you feel like, let me pull out my MAC lipstick. I don't know, it just gives you some, that type of vibe in the patent paint lip lacquer recent launch and um, I really I love this color specifically this was like my go-to okay another product I've had for a while but just recently like really fell in love with is the Dosa Colors Meet Your Hue concealers um, at first I used it one time and I was like uh, I don't know if I like it but I think what the problem was was my setting powder not the concealer because this concealer has become my everyday it's full coverage um, it's just really great and I'm dry and it works for me so it's like I get worried about concealers on my under eyes because I am drier, but no problem here. So I personally, 06 is my like perfect highlight under eye concealer shade. I love it. Um, today I used 22 and 23 um, to contour my face under my foundation. I look a little bit more tan today because I did all my contours first and then blended everything together. Um, and I use this for highlight and contour, but 06 is my go-to. Great. Um, it sets really well with my favorite powder. So I think that day I must have tried a new powder, but yeah, with my everyday method, like these are just killing it. Next up is from one of my favorite brands ever, which is e.l.f. I love e.l.f. so much. I hold them so dear to my heart. Um, for some reason I get chills when I talk about them. I don't know. You guys know I'm weird like that. I just really, really love e.l.f. as a brand. Like I feel like that's one brand that I can go on for days. If there's a brand that I can have a collab with, it would be e.l.f. Like it just seeing the way they're so adaptive to um, trends and just the product quality and the affordability and how inclusive they are is amazing. I just saw this ad they just did where it's like, um, like Elf is she, Elf is her, Elf is him, Elf is they, Elf is us. And it was just so cool to know that Elf is just so open-minded, inclusive and supportive. And just showing that they use like real people. They also use influencers too, but they use a lot of real people. They have their songs. And I've seen a bunch of other brands come out with songs now trying to be like, eh which is cool, but it's like, Elf is the one who started this really cool trend. Like, and I've met the team, I just, I don't know, I can go on them for days, I love them. But my, my favorite product right now is the Elf Putty Eye Primer. You guys are probably tired of me talking about this, but um, I use the shade Rose, and it's just so good. It's re replaced me using a concealer to set my eyelids, like before eyeshadow or anything, like literally all I use now is this. Um, I love that it's just like the perfect consistency it's not like as thick as like a paint pot would be and it's not drying or anything. It just blends smoothly. Like it's right there if you guys can see. It just blends so smoothly and um, shadows work well. Like sometimes I feel like you have to set it with certain type of like uh, creamy bases and this one you don't have to set. Like I can blend eyeshadow right on top and it blends out seamlessly. I don't know what they put in this, but um, you guys did such a good job and this is just a product I'm obsessed with. There's a black one and a white one. Have in my everyday drawer. Uh, here's the white one and the black one I'll show you they're just you know your basic black and white full pigment primers and they're just so good if you do the black and you put like a blue over it or a purple it's gonna look stunning and for the white using pastels come on like I'll sometimes use do um, like a crease and then instead of cutting the crease with concealer I'll cut it with 
actual like these putty primers and the shadows just stick and I can't say good enough stuff but this is my like star product oh I forgot too I think this is out of stock now guys but the elf Nabella collab elf if there are any more in stock please let me buy them I literally bought seven of them I still have a few more like on backup but I'm scared because this is like my favorite and the liner that goes with this is my favorite and I'm scared that they won't have it anymore which I know it was a collab so it's not gonna be forever but okay another brand and product I'm loving are cream blushes I'm obsessed and Hank and Henry just has some really cool cream blushes that I'm obsessed with like I think um Henry you killed it on this product um, my two go-to's are Tang Tang and Bebe Rosa. So yeah, beautiful. This is what I have on today. This one, you guys can kind of see the hue right there. Um, but I like mixing these, honestly. Like, I think it's so beautiful for summer. I want to wear this one more because it likes to be like fun, orangey, like burnt vibes. And then I can do like a cool burnt eye with like a brighter peach coral cheek. <laughs> it's going to look so good. But um, this has been my everyday shade. And you guys can tell. You can kind of see the hue there. These are just stunning. And you can wear them by themselves. You can set them and... I put them over powder and they are creams putting over powder no problem if you guys are looking to try a cream blush I highly highly recommend this the cool thing I like too that he did this in a stick so you can really just like and then like blend it out um sometimes with cream blushes that are in like a palette or like in a, a tin you have to like work your fingers in it and sometimes I just feel weird touching things I don't know so it's nice that I could just like and go okay the last brand I have a few things but I recently was introduced to this brand and I'm honestly obsessed um, I think they have some really great products. They are not in the U.S., but they are sold at Morphe, which is really cool. Um, and some of you guys, I know when you see newer brands, you're like, hmm, are they good? Are they not? This one is every single product I have tried. From Noblo Cosmetics has been killing it. There's not one product that I'm like, hmm, that didn't work very well. Everything has worked. Like this translucent powder has replaced some of my all-time baking powders. I have it on today. Like, it just looks so good. It sets so well. You know, it's just, it's great. Like, I really, really love it. This is their baking and setting powder, translucent. Try it. Ooh, you guys want to find, know my um, favorite lipstick right now? So, Nabla Cosmetics sent me their lipsticks. Little lippies. How cute are these? Hey, it kind of goes with my vibe right now. Two of my favorite shades. One is Lust, which is a little bit more brown. I'll swatch it right here since my hand has stuff on it. A little bit more brown. You see that? So, not too much of a pink base, but... More like a 90s vibe. Oh, so good. And that's less. But the one I can't live without right now is Chloe. It's so matte. It's crazy. Like, I'll put Chloe right here. Oh my goodness. See how it has that like more pinky. It's like it still has that. I'm going to sound so weird by explaining this. But it still has that like praline brown, I want to say. But it has that like warm pink in it. And it's just like. It's a good nude. It's one of the best nudes I've ever tried, honestly. And this is the shade Chloe from Novel Cosmetics, obsessed. Another product from Novel Cosmetics I'm obsessed with um, are these. And these are so cool. They're liquid lipsticks, but they're not like matte liquid lipsticks. Like, these are true liquid lipsticks, which is so cool because, um, you know, matte, liquid matte lipsticks are cool, but to be honest, I'm just kind of not over them, but I'm not gravitating towards them as much. And I'm going to show you guys three of my favorite shades. So the first one, Hedonist. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it is like look at that shit actually it's kind of similar to this one but in like this is similar to that lacquer I was talking about but it's really just gorgeous look at that look at the undertones this is one I've been loving more with the darker um, liner this one is really pretty too it's like that mauve way more mauve I used to think like this was mauve that's not mauve Megan this is mauve and this is like a mauve -y, a deeper mauve, not a deeper mauve, but not your light mauve, like, again, a true mauve. So it's that beautiful, beautiful shade um, that adds some color, but nothing overwhelming. This is going to be my summer shade. Oh, sorry. This name is um, My Rules. And this one is Mood for Love. And this shade is so cute. Oh my gosh. I low-key want to put it on right now. It is like... A burnt orange coral red if that makes any sense that's what it is it's like a burnt orange coral red <laughs> that's really the best way I can describe it but these are gorgeous again they're that kind of um, liquid lipstick that just goes on beautiful and it's not super like doesn't look glossy and it's not definitely not matte or satin so it's like that literal liquid lip product that's just beautiful and um it's super comfortable to wear too and that's one that even if you eat or like you have to pat your lips off it leaves you with the most beautiful like 
just like a good lip. I don't, how do I explain it? Because it's, it's not like a satin lipstick, but when you, if you put these on and then like kiss it off, it leaves the most beautiful color too. So you know that you're going to have this all day. And um, these shades, these three are just like really beautiful. No surprise here on this next product. This is the Water Rose 24 Hour Moisture Gel from Garnier. And this one hasn't left my side. I have one downstairs and one upstairs. This has replaced some of my most expensive moisturizers. Um, it's just amazing, honestly, and it's affordable and it's something everyone needs to try. I think I've told like everyone and their mom they need this, but like they really do. Like I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, guys. It's just so good. It's so moisturizing. I love that it's plastic. I don't have to worry about it, like, but it's it's a gel and I don't know if you guys have tried gel moisturizers or not. They're definitely different from cream. They like absorb in your skin so much different and they feel like so luxurious. I don't know what it is. Gel is my new fave. And this is a really cool thing too, look. This is open, this is closed. This is so cool about it too is that it's plastic and it has a lock. So I can throw this in my bag when I'm going to Ty's house. Like I can throw this in my makeup bag and I don't have to worry that like it's gonna get in my powder. Like there's no way it's pumping out because it's locked. It's just like a little side thing that makes this product so, so much better on top of the actual product inside being killer. So um, yeah, Water Rose, you guys have to try this from Garnier. I talk about it all the time, but this is again something this last month that like I cannot put down, especially with being inside. I'm washing my hands so much. My house is really cold. I'm feeling extra dry. This has just changed it. Sometimes I'll even put it on my hands. Okay guys, so that is all the products that I was loving um, this month or this past month or that you guys need to try this month. Um, I'm just obsessed. These are some faves that I just haven't been able to put down lately. I love that they're all kind of different little <laughs> genres of your face, but they're all killing it. And um, all of these products I stand by, not one of them that I, you'd buy and I'd be like, mm, hope it works for you. No, like this is all going to work so well. Um, these products are really awesome and they're just really making, they're, they're standouts in my drawer. I have a drawer for like everyday stuff that I get ready and this certain stuff just doesn't leave this drawer. And... I'm telling you, literally, hold on, I'm picking up which ones really don't leave my drawer. Okay, besides getting to choose a lip color every day, which is fun, these, oh, I can't hear it, these do not leave that drawer. Like, every single day, Garnier, primer, I'm lying, I'm lying because I'm now talking, okay, we'll add these look. MAC, e.l.f., and Nabla Cosmetics, the Chloe shade, have to have it. Um, Dose of Colors, 06, has to have it. If you're my skin tone, grab that. Kush Mascara, have to have it. Nablo setting baking powder, have to have it, and Henry Six have to have them. Like these are things that I, oh, and my Joy Blush, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I've been setting these with this and bomb. So yeah, I literally just picked up everything I have. So, oh my gosh, my pet I forgot. This is the one that I've been wearing every single day. It's, she's an influencer and I've been using my little fan every day. Oh my gosh, so yeah, I'm a mess. But really been loving these products as you guys can tell. I stand by them all, I'll have them all linked below. So you guys can get them if you want to, try them out. But yeah, so I'm here on YouTube more guys, but make sure to follow me on Instagram. That is where I'm most active. Um, I answer every single DM I get, I try to. Um, all your guys' comments, if you guys have questions, suggestions, anything like that. I'm trying to do more looks on the stories and everything. So make sure to follow me there for more updates and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your notification bell on here and post notifications on Instagram um, so you guys don't miss any lives, any cool things like that. So I'll see you guys in my next one. I hope you enjoyed these products. I hope you're able to pick some up and I'll see you guys soon.